Hey, it's the Scotch Desk Dummies coming to you with a special Woodford Reserve, bro. Mm -hmm. Woodford Reserve Masters Collection. Yeah, 1838 White Corn. White Corn. It's called White Corn Style. Is that like Panda Style? I don't know. On the style, I guess. No. Um, but let's back up a little bit. Love the bottle. Let's go into uh, a big topic nowadays is non-GMO corn. Yeah. Non -genetic, genetically modified, modified organisms. organisms because so many corns are, are genetically modified. Can I piss basically. off some of our viewers real quick? Sure. Modify it. Yeah. Make it so it grows stronger and produces more. Well, yeah. Feed the but, people that are starving or make great whiskey. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, same as being organic, though, and removing all of that, um, some people want their whiskeys made with non-GMO corn. Sure, and I'm not going to hate on them for that. I will say I love the idea of that seed bank. Have you seen that? No. I want to even say it's in Sweden, but they might, might have one here where they're literally taking these different seeds, these seed strains, and saving them underground so that they've got them. And they, you could pull them out, you know, they'll have a, a thousand of them and you could grow, you know, seeds from 1980 or whatever. So that way, if there were something that somehow screwed up the whole system, you could restart it. Now, I love that idea. But at the same thing going, I come from a, a family of farmers slash ranchers. And if you could, you know, I mean, they've been making from different... from Denver, Colorado. No, no. Great grandfather came over. He didn't want to fight for the Kaiser in World War One, so he jumped a ship when he was twelve. Some people say he came over so illegally. Was he Some raised on a farm. Illegal. No, dad worked on a farm and said the hardest work you'll ever do is on a farm. So he went to college. <laughs> His goal was to yeah, never that's... work on a farm because he said I worked on a farm. It's hard work, sun up yeah. to sundown. I well, yeah, I, I didn't even live there. I helped a buddy a couple summers on yeah. farms. I'm from a rural area. Right. I I lived in town. I was town folk. Wow. Of course, the town was only like 2,500 people. Bam. I grew up in the mountains where I didn't even have to mow. I once mowed a girlfriend's dad's yard just for the experience. <laughs> And they were I'm laughing just, at me. We got off there because you go, I come from a family I of do. farmers. I do. And they grow corn. Oh, and yeah, let's I'm get just, back to the corn. Yeah, I'm just telling you, that's where so, I was going. They grow corn, and some of the things they can do with a modified corn is actually less pesticides. Right. Because it's a hardier, stronger strain. So I'm just saying, it's not all evil and bad, but... There, uh, what What is this? Now, well, so, so some distilleries, though, and your craft distilleries make a big deal out of our corn that we use is non-GMO corn. Right. There's old pants. So, now this being white corn, though, I'm assuming that this was Racial? hand Racial. selected. Huh? Caucasian corn? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Does, does, <clears throat> does blue corn not matter? There blue is corn. blue corn. Black corn. There's Indian corn. I've had some of that before. That's huh. delicious. Popcorn? Are we hating on popcorn here? It's all poppy. Right. Sorry. Right. Go on with your white corn. By the way, I love the long neck bottle. Where did my notes go? I, I lost know. my notes. You lost them. Um, anyway, 45.2%. These are special editions that Woodford Reserve does with these, the Masters Collection. So, 45.2% ABV. This, there are 30,294 bottles available. This is bottle number 441. I wish there were more. I wish there were 60,000 bottles. You know I'm partial to the Woodford Reserve. Yes. Love the I know the you Woodford. like the yeah. yeah. Love it. And we, we did the double oaked as well. Right. And it was good. I yeah. remember it was definitely more, I liked it better than the standard Woodford See, Reserve. I love the standard. But I didn't realize how much it was. I saw it in the liquor store the it's other day. It's expensive. It's like $50 a bottle yes. for the double oaked. Right. I didn't like it, but I'm not <clears> as much into the wood flavor. To be honest with you, I didn't like the double oaked as much as their standard variety. But this, this is a nice specialty burp. Mm -hmm. um, on the nose, well, that's what you said when you popped it when you was testing it. Mm -hmm. Either on the nose or the first sip, you took a wow. You said that's a 
great bourbon. Great. Yeah, clean, crisp on the nose. Get a little hint of maybe apple. But it's clean, it's sharp, it's fresh. Got a hint of that maltiness in there as well. Just a hint of the malt. Malt. Getting a little bit of maltiness to it. Yeah, or cereal. Cereal. Well, okay, it's a bourbon, right? Sure. It is. I'm not calling it a single malt. I'm just saying it's a Kentucky a straight bourbon whiskey. So 51% of it has to be corn. The other 49% can be a mix of. You've been grains. reading Bourbon Curious. Yes. Excellent. Who's the author? Fred Minnick. Love the Fred. <clears throat> um, is that short for Frederick? I would imagine. Um, the nose to me really, I tried, I mean, knowing this was white corn. I really, I mean, it's like, okay, what do you get on the nose? Don't think that it's white corn. I mean, there was corn alcohol that's in here. Mm -hmm. I can't say, oh, it's white corn. <laughs> no, there's corn alcohol. And really, it, it, it's a it's a standard bourbon nose. There's caramel, there's vanilla, there's a sweetness. I mean, it's a little bit more, I mean, it's a little different than a standard bourbon nose. And I can't tell you what it is. It's a, it's, there's a little tinge in there. Right. Of something. That's where I get a little what? bit of that cereal malt. Maybe that's what it is. And that's where I'm picking up a little bit more of that. And a sweetness. Mm -hmm. And I do get a clean, refreshing crispness mm -hmm. on the nose, which is kind of surprising to me. Now, you have you sipped it without the water? I did. I took okay. a sip. Yeah. It's sparky. I get sweet. Moving into a cereal grain, even on the flavor. And uh, and I've got to tell you, it, it tastes like it's a more limited release. It doesn't taste run-of-the-mill. I'm going to put two drops in here. At 45%, though, it's surprisingly good at the 45% at neat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing that's, like, destroying you where you're like, whoo, whoo, cast strength, got to bring it down a little bit. Um... But again, that uh, it's still got that sparky pepper hit to you. Yep. But it's that sweetness that yep. that shifts and moves into that cereal grain. Um, the taste is it's very full on the palate. Um, I get a dry finish to it. I get, and I've got peppery in my notes. Um, outside of, uh, of like a rye pepper, though, I don't get any of the the rye attributes that come along with a with a rye right. being used in in the other part of the 49 percent but a black pepper yeah so i was going to say black cracked pepper uh -huh. that's exactly what i'm getting yep i get corn syrup hmm. which i think is the sweetness okay um and then with the water to me it didn't really change it that much it makes it a little smoother and a little creamier i don't get as much of the cream out of it although i know what you're talking about there um Definitely still has that. I mean, the pepper notes are strong in this one. <laughs> it's like my force quote. The force is strong in this one. The pepper notes are strong in this one. I love it, though. It's got that. It's not not a burn. It's just that cracked pepper. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. Usually after I, I've gotten to where I sample it, I take my notes, I nose it, I drink it, and I add water. I take my notes, I'll get pretty comfortable with it, and then I go online and I'll see what other reviewers are, what they're getting and seeing. I was surprised I found somebody really bashing this. Really? And saying it wasn't good. Wow. Yeah. Because hmm. I enjoy it. I do too. Now I'm going to go a little bit superficial. I love this look of the bottle. Uh -huh. I love the long neck. I love the wood and brass top. And I love almost the kettle bottom that's got what's going on here. I mean, this almost screams to me, <clears throat> old world. I love the way it sits. It's solid, heavy glass. So I know that's superficial. has nothing to do with my score. Mm -hmm. But I really, really love it. Nice the topper, look. too. It's like a wood topper with a little copper. Yeah, uh, copper coin brass on the top top. Of it. I mean, lovely. And then the way they've even strapped it. And then they got the, the, the there's... 30,294 bottles 
and this is just one of them. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Didn't even see what you scored it. This is an 89 for me. 90. Wow. Gave it a 90. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Um, let's talk price point, though, too. I have no okay. idea. You bought this. What did you buy this for? Um, well, we're getting some special deals with our liquor store because they know Shut us up. now, but they sold it to Shut me up. for 80 Really? Okay. That's and good. I don't know what they were going to put on it for retail. Gotcha. Around 100 ish We buy a lot. Yeah. I've even bought by the case before, so you'll get <laughs> discounts. <laughs> now, I have gone back and said, I want a case of this. Hmm. Do you want to leave this here at my bar? Nope, it's going home. <laughs> Dang it. Because I'm a fan of the Woodford. Um, where is it? I've I got get, somewhere. Get one of your sample bottles out. You can take a sample of it. You know what? We may have you poured into one of my Kentucky. What? what are you doing? Look at that. There's my Kentucky one. This reminds me of the suit that uh, what's his name wore from New England Patriots. Oh yeah. So uh, Gronk. Gronk. When he was at the uh, Kentucky Derby, that was the one. This is the video where I kept saying Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> I kept saying Kentucky, the Kentucky Derby. <clears throat> so there's your standard bottle size. You can see it. This is the cool little thing they did here. So all right. I think the Woodford Reserve uh, White Corn is well. Worth it. Well, it's worth your time. It's yeah, worth a sample. I haven't even read their little uh, thing here. So, mm. scotch it, you scotch gods. Salonja. Dummies. Dummies.